Hi, it's Chantelle here from Fiverific. Welcome to a Tuesday tutorial. Uh, this week it is Valentine's Day, so who am I to get in the way of tradition? So we're going to make something Valentine's Day-ish. I love crocheting like cute little things. So I'm going to show you how to crochet these gorgeous little hearts. You don't need much to make these little hearts. You just need a three and a half mil crochet hook, around five grams of an eight ply yarn. I'm using the Bendigo Woolen Mills Bloom purely because I have it here. You don't even have to make them in pink or red. I mean, I've made this one in a, in it's the bloom red, but it's a bit pinky. But you could make it like a jar of them and have them all different colors and have them in the middle of the table. You could make them as little gold earrings. They're so light. This one here completed is only two and a half grams. You can use them for so many different cute little things. I have the plan of dropping one in someone's lunch bag just so that, you know, they get it later in the day when they think you're not thinking about them. You'll find the pattern on fiberific.com.au in the free pattern section. Um, it's not a very difficult pattern and we'll step through all the stitches, but if you know basic crochet, you'll be able to get through no problems at all. You don't actually need any filling. We use our tails to fill it. So you don't need to worry about extra filling unless you want to make it extra puffy. So let's get started with the crochet. Okay, to get started, we need to do four chains. So we do our slip knot first in whatever method you prefer. Now to make sure that we have enough yarn for our tail stuffing, make sure you leave it a good length tail. So I would say at least 10 centimeters. So start with four chains. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to make all of the stitches into this first chain. So we're making a loop. So our first stitch is a double treble. So we yarn over and yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch and then draw the loop through, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And we need three double trebles. So we've done one, so yarn over, yarn over, insert the hook, draw through a loop, yarn over, draw through two, draw through two, draw through two. And one more. So, draw through two and draw through two. So we have done our three double trebles. Now we need three trebles and they go into the same place. So yarn over, insert it into that same little hole, draw through one loop, yarn over, draw through two, and draw through two. Yarn over, insert it in. Now we're gonna be going in like a circle. So we keep just filling this thing up. So we've done our three trebles and our three double trebles. Now we do a chain one and one double treble, so yarn over, yarn over, draw through a loop, draw through two, draw through two, draw through two, and then a chain, then three trebles. So yarn over once into the little hole, draw through two, draw through two, yarn over, insert, draw through two, draw through two, and one more, Okay, so we have our three double trebles. So now we just need to do three more double trebles. So yarn over, yarn over, insert it into the little hole, draw through a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And we've got to do that two more times. So yarn over, yarn over, insert, bring it out. And we Got one more to do. And that's our three double trebles. Now we need to make a slip stitch into there. So we just straight in, grab a loop and go like that. And that's our slip stitch. Snip a 10 centimeter tail. 
and end off by drawing a loop through and pulling it tight. So our first heart is done. We need to make two of these little hearts. So go ahead and make the second little heart. Okay, so now we have our two little hearts with their little tails. Now we just need to stitch these together. So we're gonna use a slip stitch. Now I'm going to find another section of my ball that's a bit different looking. So I'm just going to cut off where I was at and I've got a bit more of a, it's a bit more stripey. This is a variegated yarn. It runs through the different shades of red, then red and pink, red and white, it does that. So I've got a bit more of the red and pink. So we need to put our wrong sides together. And if we just tuck the tails out of the way, what we need to do, oops, what have I got there? I've got a little bit of a loopy, so just make sure everything's sitting nice and flat. So with our wrong sides together and with our tails tucked down the middle like that, we find our spot, our middle point here, and we slip stitch. So hook goes through the middle of the hole, leaving a tail, 10 centimeters is good. Oops, making sure you don't crochet with the tail, because that's exactly what I was about to do. So we slip stitch, we want it nice and tight. Then what we find is just the back loop. So see how there's one and two? We just want the back or the one closest to the top on each one. So that one and that one. And we slip stitch. And we do this all the way around. And you'll see you're getting quite a nice little chain look. Now you can see where the little tails are starting to get in the way. nearly there but before we get to the very end so there's about five or six little four or, four or five little spots left to go so there's a little pocket here just pull your cord along and with that little pocket hole that we've just created here just pull all your ends into that and poke them in with the end of your crochet hook I find works really well And just poke them all in and just keep poking until they're all gone like squishing a spider well it's not like squishing a spider because I wouldn't get this close to a spider ever Okay, so they're all, all the ends are shoved in. See how it's all nice and puffy now? We pick our hook back up and finish a little closing. And make sure you just grab every single one around. As you get back towards the middle, it is a bit trickier to see which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done. I'm just going to pop that one back out again. It was a bit tough. I must have split the fibre. Okay, so back in there. There. There we go, I can see where I split it now. And then you just go straight through the middle and slip stitch like we did at the start. Now if you want to mat, you can either just end it off here, cut your tail, pull it and create a little dangly or you can do some chaining which is what I'm going to do for this one. I'm just going to do 10 little chains. So I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and then go back into the same spot slip stitch and bring that through 
and then cut your tail off and bring that through like that. Now we do have our little chains plus our little tails. So what we can do to catch our tail is just grab your hook and slide it under these stitches, poke it out as close to where the tail is as possible, grab it, pull it in and pull it through like that. So give it a little tug so that it's out of the way and then pull it tight and trim it off. So there you go. That's your little heart. No ends to weave in, nothing. Scissors, a hook, and about two and a half grams of yarn. So what did you think of that? Did you enjoy making these little hearts? Do you think you'll make them? Do you think you'll make hundreds of them? I know I'm definitely planning on a few more. I have a considerable amount of yarn and I'm really considering the glass vase full of hearts. I quite like that idea. Let me know in the comments down below what you think you'll make with your little hearts. If you like this video and you would like to see more like this kind of thing, make sure you click the like button. Um, also click subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of my videos, click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. It's time for you to fill your universe with five of fun. Off you go, and I'll see you Thursday. Bye.